to serve it on. So it is finally time for the Daily Dish. Chef Paul's making a soy maple crunch mustard. Here's what you need. Brown mustard seeds, yellow mustard seeds, mustard powder, maple syrup, white vinegar, water, soy sauce, and sea salt. Now, Paul, before we start making this mustard that already sounds like it's going to be delicious, let's talk about your kitchen. So viewers may have noticed your background is looking a little different. It looks gorgeous. Tell us about the reno and how you nailed down what your dream kitchen needed. We actually have a shot of the before. How was it doing all this during COVID, Paul? This has been a labor of love, Tracy. First of all, welcome to my new kitchen. I'm so excited to share it. This is not only my kitchen where I cook, this is my studio kitchen. This is where I film. So in, in deciding what I wanted it to look like, I wanted it to look like the set of my cooking show that I always dreamed of. So I wanted it to have big, bold colors. So I picked navy for the cabinet with champagne gold accents and white, lots of white. I just wanted light to sort of bounce off the walls. You notice in the before photo, it was very gray. There was a lot of gray. The counters were gray, the walls were gray. So it was kind of slurping up the light. So we just brightened things up in here. And during COVID, it was an experience, but I mean, I'm lucky I'm married to an electrician. So that's oh. come in handy again and again. And also our lead contractor happens to be one of our best friends. So he's actually already in our social bubble. So he's kind of been living here. So. You know, we really lucked out. Amazing. You've done it gorgeously. You uh, obviously are a viewer of City Line because everything you've done is absolutely right. <laughs> Let's get into uh, the recipe now, Paul. How would we start what you're about to make? This recipe was inspired by my first week of living here, which was very um, college dorm room, you know, mattress on the floor of the living room because we were renovating upstairs, downstairs, and the kitchen all at the same time. So I got really good at using the microwave, which happened to be right next to the mattress. It was very, it was very, <laughs> you know, like it's back to, or hark, harkens back to my, you know, youth. And I ate a lot of Jamaican patties, but we also ate picnic style a lot. And so I wanted to share a recipe that is, is kind of, you know, near and dear to me. It's a DIY, you know, I love DIYs. And it's just a simple DIY mustard. And I wanna show you how simple it is to make mustard at home. So this is a soy maple crunch mustard mm. and you don't have to cook anything. It's as simple as combining some key ingredients and then letting time do the work. So into, into a container, a bowl, I mean, I'm just gonna use this that can go straight in the fridge after. I'm going to add some yellow mustard seeds, some brown mustard seeds. These ones are a little more pungent and some ground yellow mustard seeds. And now we're just going to really flavor it. I'm going to add some maple syrup for sweetness. Now this is about a quarter cup. It'll add just enough sweetness to sort of balance that acidity from a half a cup of white vinegar. And then just a little bit of water, two tablespoons. And this is not something you see a lot in mustards, but I just love it. We're adding a little bit of sodium reduced soy sauce. Not a lot, two teaspoons just as an accent flavor. I find it goes very, very nicely with maple and it also adds some saltiness. And then just some sea salt, a half teaspoon. And now I'm just going to mix it up. And you'll notice it's very, very thin and watery. And now you just wanna leave it on the counter sealed for two days, give it a stir every now and then. And that's really all there is to it. So, Paul, you're not going to throw that in the fridge right away. You're going to leave it out on the counter. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this out on the counter. And because you kind of want you, you want the mustard seeds to absorb the liquid. So think about soaking beans overnight on the mm. counter. You know, we know that cold temperatures cause things to tighten up. We you really want these mustard seeds to pull in that liquid, pull in the flavor. And then after the two days, you'll notice it really starts to thicken. And then you can put it in the fridge and keep it there for as long as you want. So, you know like so many other things, this really only gets better with time. I made this a month ago. And you can see it's nice and thick and it's fragrant. And we ate a lot of stuff like this, charcuterie boards and sandwiches. You could mix this with mayo and make a beautiful burger sauce. You could put it on some roast pork, certainly this time of year with a little bit of apple. There's so many things you can do with mustard. So, you know, it also makes a great gift. That is so good. Okay, I like the way you ate through your renovation. This is good. You don't always have to rely on uh